Previously on Dream Team. There is one goalkeeper we could approach. Vivian Wright. <laughs> no one else would be after him, that's for sure. Jaws Wright. It's always a bit of a location. I'm what? That's a total psycho, dude. I've heard he's got a list. And you don't want to be on it. What are you looking at? Yes, come on! My future. Always got the pace. Definitely got the skills. Yeah, let's get him out there. You know as well as I do, he's 17. He starts playing now. I can't sign him. You can't sign him. Not as a pro. This is my livelihood. Hello, stupid. Archester United are poised to announce the signing of disgraced former Middlesbrough keeper Viv Jaws Rice. That's the big story today. We've seen the, the push in the referees, the kung fu kicks, but what he did was really savage. And I think he should be out of the game. I don't think he should play again. On his day, he's a fantastic goalkeeper. I think he more than deserves another chance. Yep, one thing for certain on his day, he is world-class and it's understandable why Harchester think he's worth the risk. Well, he served his 50-match ban. I don't see what more he can do, to be honest, yeah. In no agreement amongst our studio panel, not for the first time. I guess we'll only know for sure after he's played a few games. Starting with his debut against Newcastle today, have Harchester finally bitten off more than they can chew? Roddy Marsh, world-class keeper or menace to society? Well, Jeff, I think he's a menace. He's dangerous. Uh, I think he's sending out the wrong message to the whole of football. Well, for once I agree with Rodney. So vain. I need to just try it on to make sure it fits tightly. The phantom of the opera is there in your mind. <laughs> oh man. I was enjoying that. Viv, this is Clyde Connolly. What happened to your face? Uh oh, it was uh, it was nothing. <laughs> Only playing. Curtis Alexander, innit? Great to meet you. Really great. Yeah, you too. And this is our captain. Marcel Sabatier. Nice to have you with us. Bonjour. Which one of these pages is mine? For heaven's sake, son, it's not a Rubik's Cube. That wasn't us to wear it. Yeah, well, it's club policy for you two players. I'm sure Pilar would welcome your views on the map. Nicky, help him, love. We'll be here all day. There you go. Looks like little Lord Fauntleroy. Forget it, son. Now, more importantly, got my ticket? Do you have any idea how mad Pilo would go if she knew about this? Yeah, I've got some idea. Not unless you promise not to go into the players' lounge. Promise. Thank you. Here we go. Uh, scotch, please. Large on the rocks. 450, please. Pardon? 450. You want me to pay? New rules, I'm afraid. It's not like you to add a little bit of drink, Jeff, lad. Allow me. Yeah, darling. Keep the change. Cheers. Pleasure. Didn't know you operated in the Midlands, Brooksy. What did your retirement, Jeff? Left such a huge gap in the market. Yeah, very droll. What's the real reason? Oh, come on, don't be an old cynic. I'm banned, for heaven's sake. Okay, Archester, getting rid of half their youth team, apparently. Financial reasons. It's always worth a look. Where on the street is some kind of wonder kid amongst them. You mean Clyde Connolly? Oh, come on. He's hardly news, is he? Kid I'm talking about is barely out of nursery school. According to my sources, he's a real well beater. Name him. Presley, something like that. Have you heard him? Nah, it doesn't ring any bells. Probably just a flash in the pan. Come with me, please, sir. Cheers. See you later, Jeff. Look, uh, I just need to speak to reception. One minute. I 
I've got to pass on a message, please. You got one minute, thank you. What happened? Did Pillow see you? That will count. They're after Lee. Who is? The scouts, agents, they know all about him. Look, his name is Joel Brooks. It's with player power. If you're looking for Lee after the game, he must not find him. What? Don't you understand, Nicky? This guy will sell his mother to sign Lee. He's a free agent. He can sign with who he likes. Lee wouldn't do that. Oh, no. Not even for a million quid. Get real. Because if you All right, don't, time's up. Come on. You'll be stuck behind that reception for the rest of your life regretting it. All right, I'm going. Right, lads, listen up. Peter Matt, come down here, please. I'm only going to say this once. Don't let me out, Joe. Okay, we need all three points today. And if we stick to our game plan, I can't see any reason why that shouldn't happen. Clyde, I want you to keep pulling wide, leaving little holes on the edge of their area for Marcel to move into. Clyde, are you listening to a word I just said? I said, I want you to pull wide and leave holes for Marcel to move into. Got it? Yes, Governor. And in case any of you hadn't noticed, we got a new keeper. So talk to him. You can't be expected to read your minds. Viv. Viv! Don't worry about me, lads. I'll make myself very clear. Just do what I say, and we won't have any problems. It's a clash of the two Uniteds at the Dragon's Lair. It's Harchester against Newcastle. And a look at the Harchester United side today, and it's the familiar lineup apart from the goalkeeper. There is a high profile debut for the controversial Viv Wright, recently bought from Middlesbrough, who's looking to resurrect his Premiership career following his well documented problems at the Riverside Stadium. Alan Shearer will need to be kept in check by Stuart Naismith and company today. It's a big match for Harchester. Knocked out of the FA Cup, but looking to stay in touch for that all-important European place and the important finance that that brings. Now the header looking for Wright. Shearer's in there, and Wright is out very bravely indeed. Well, Viv Wright had to come smartly off his line there to deny Shearer. The back header was disappointing. Shearer was almost in there. That is very, very brave goalkeeping indeed from the man they call Jaws. Viv Wright, excellent save. And his wife Chelsea watching on admiringly today from the stands. Oh, good save, Wright. Wright is there again. A header brilliantly turned away by Wright. Pressure on Harchester again here. Shearer! Oh, fantastic save from Viv Wright. Right there, yet again. Pressure once more on Harchester. Everything happening in front of Viv Wright today. And another wonder save from the debutant. What a match he's having. And it's all over at the Dragon's Lair. Not the result that Harchester needed, but a quite sensational debut from new goalkeeper Viv Wright. Liverpool, Man City. They both lost. Look at me. Man in a match. Happy days. Did you think I was man in a match? You played very well. But not man in a match. Sure, man of the match. No, you're just humouring me now, I can tell. You take the champagne. No, I'm, I'm fine, you deserve it. No, I'll give it to Chelsea, but you don't like the cheap stuff. No, thanks. <laughs> can you believe it, a Frenchman turning down free bubbly? Here, you take it. Oh, no, mate, no, I'm all good, cheers. No, no, I'm just good. Anyone else? Alright boys, what are you doing down here? I've got a bevy for you upstairs. Lee, where are you going? I'm upstairs for the shandy, why are you coming love? We've got to meet Jeff outside. Yeah, uh, that can wait, that can wait. I'll see you in a bit anyway, love. 
Excuse me, you can't go up there without a pass. Joel Brooks. Player power. Any comments on your first game back, Viv? Journalists are not allowed in the players' lounge. It's all right. Seeing as he asked. It's great to be back playing the game. I just want to thank my missus, Chelsea. She's always stuck by me, and hopefully I can start repaying her faith. And it's also her birthday today. Happy birthday, gorgeous. Yeah. Ah, what is it? Open it. Here. Put it on. Vivian. Don't worry, sweetheart. There'll be plenty of time for that when we get back. Just trust me. It's not like I've got much choice. Have you seen Lee? No. Damn. There he is. Lee, thank God. Oh, I didn't know you cared, darling. So you're Lee Presley. And who are you? No one important. Take me into basement. Now I'm scared. Where are we? Take it off and you'll find out. What's going on? Happy birthday, gorgeous. You said you always want your own bar. Oh my goodness. This is mine. One hundred percent. I really do want this to work, Charles. Not just the football, but you and me. Let's see how it goes. Like how? Well, we're getting on really well right now. Let's see how it goes. You do like the bar, though, right? I love the bar. But it's not a magical cure for everything, is it? What's all this for now? To Lee Presley. Let's call it an early birthday celebration. I don't like birthdays, Jeff. Okay, son, you win. As you are aware, I no longer hold an agent's license. Fun diet. Cheated. Actually. Anyway. The fact remains that in a few weeks time when you turn 18, you can sign your first professional contract. As I won't be able to formally represent you, Nikki will. But we need you to do the right thing by us, son. Because there's going to be more agents like the one you met today, circling like vultures looking to make a fast buck. Oh, and you're not. I hope you're not forgetting what Nikki and I have done for you, son. If it wasn't for us, you'll still be stealing cars. All right, all right, calm down. Be all right. I mean it. We're putting far too much for you to make such a flippant remark. I've just told you, you'll be all right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going for a slash. How am I supposed to represent him? I'm not taking my agent's exams for six months. Well, that's got to change, because he's not a secret anymore. He just said it'll be all right. Oh, yeah. Until they start waving water cash under his nose, we can't be taking risks. You've got to get started straight away. Straight away? I can't. I've just started. The multiple choice questions, Nikki. It's not brain surgery. I don't mean to be harsh, love, but these exams, you cannot fail. United. I should just put you through. Hello again. Oh, hi. Sorry. Anything interesting? Oh, no, not really. Um, how can I help you? I'm here to watch the youth team. Should I just go over? The youth team? Yeah, Stuart Naismith's expecting me. Oh, well, I'll just get someone to look after here and and I'll take you over. So I know my way around, am I? No, no, I'll take you. Is 
Drop back in the centre half for us. You alright, Gaffer? Fine, just want to take a step back, get a bit of perspective. And what about playing Clyde on Saturday? He's clearly not happy in that mask. You know what I'm thinking? One up front? No, it won't work, not without Luke and Ryan. Lee Presley. Get him over here, I want him straight in the first team squad. Joel, glad you could make it. Glad to be here. Sorry it's come to this though. Well, it's a shame, but the reality is we can only afford to keep half of them. Some bright kids out there as well this year. So uh, Rest assured though, I'll find them good homes. Excuse me a minute. Got me? Yeah. How you doing? You alright? I'm alright. Any fancy little run out for me? Good one. Good. Fine, take a rest. Come get out of there, Is he as good as they say he is? Well, apart from his creativity, pay, setting ability and two good feet, I say he's pretty average. <laughs> I think it's normal for a chief executive to have to sit at reception. I thought I already told you. You're not age material. You may not think so. But what? Jeff Stein does? That must be very reassuring. You've been dreaming of becoming an agent for months. What have you done? Nothing. Still reading books. Actually, I'm taking my exams on Saturday. Oh, really? On a match day? Nikki, what's the matter? Peela fired me. For what? For working with you. What else? So you'll have to get someone else to do your spying from now on. <sighs> Are you okay? No, I'm not. I can't remember a word of this stuff, and now I haven't got a job to fall back on, and everything's a complete disaster! Look, 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 relax. Come on, come and sit down. Let's talk about it. Come on. Look, think about it. The more time you spend studying between now and Saturday, the better. It's a blessing in disguise. And this time next week, you'll be a qualified agent on the brink of signing one of the Premiership's hottest talents. Do you think so? I know so. There's nothing to worry about. Well, if all else fails, at least Lee's doing well. How do you mean? He got called into the first team squad today. You what? How do you know? I saw him playing. Well, this can't be happening. He makes his debut before we've nailed him down to a contract. It's over. Every agent in the country will be after him. Bonsoir. Je m'appelle Chelsea. Um, Parlez français. Oui, un petit peu. Super. A tout à l'heure. Le gaffe. What an honor. You come to check up on us. Good of you to come. You must be very busy. Not at all, no. I've been dying for a drink all day. Danny! What do you think you're doing? What? Don't give me that. It's embarrassing the way you're carrying on. All kisses and holding hands with the lads. This ain't China bloody whites. I'm being myself. I'm not about to change just because you're getting paranoid. I'm not getting paranoid. Yes, you are, and you're spoiling my birthday. So stop giving me a hard time and go and get me a glass of champagne. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Curtis Alexander. Uh, you're, um... Jaws is bad. Uh, no, I didn't mean... Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm his wife, actually. Is okay. that your girlfriend? Well, Grace, um... No, we're just mates. Good, because I was going to say, I've heard that you've got the best six-pack in Harchester. <laughs> and who told you that? I bet it's true. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, it's a bit of fun. <laughs> enough, enough. What's going on here? Um, I... Don't she... overreact, Vivian. He's just showing me his appendix scar. That's right, yeah. Uh, best stitches I've ever had. Look, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> Cheers. That's a rush. 
Nothing, man. I, I just want to come out of this toilet, right? Show me that appendix, girl, and I'll let you leave. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Come on. Mm -hmm. You show me yours, I'll show you mine, no problem. Look, I never said I had a scar, right? You've had your appendix removed, and you've got no scar to prove it. Look, I didn't say that. It was Chelsea. My wife. What about her? Nothing. Honestly, nothing. <clears throat> all right. She, she, she put her hands on me, all right? And I tried to... You saying she was coming on to you? Yeah? No. No, not at all. Not at all. You just said she put her hands on you. She did put her hands on me, man. But, but it was like, you know, like a friendly thing. I know. I, I, she, she didn't mean nothing. No! Ah! What the hell was that? It's broken. It's broken, man. I know it is. Just when I had a chance to get back in the team and... I must be cursed. I swear, this guy's a psychopath, man. I'm telling you, and so is his wife. They're freaks. You must have done something to upset him. What? Like trying to get it on with his wife? I'm not even like that anymore, man, and you know I'm not. Then why? Don't ask me, man. I don't know what she's playing at. Damn! This is a joke. A joke! I'm happy to say there's nothing broken. Oh, God. So how long am I going to be out for then? At least a fortnight. I'm lucky it's not the whole season. Anyone with half a brain can see that that man belongs behind bars. What on earth possessed you to bring him here? The good news is there's nothing broken. He's only going to be out a couple of weeks. Wow, that's great. So what happens if he doesn't like one of my back passes? He breaks my leg? Yeah. yeah. Which one of us is going to be next? I always said this wouldn't work. Some people are beyond help. All right, boys. I was hoping you might make an apology. For what? Don't be a fool, Viv. No, I want to hear this. For what? A man can be given only so many chances. You're damn lucky he's decided not to take it any further. And he's damn lucky I was in a good mood. Come on! What, I'm supposed to stand by and watch another man put his stinking mitts all over my wife? Can't you see it? If you carry on like this, you're never going to be a part of this team. I appreciate your concern, Stuart, but don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Look at that, the palm trees, sun, sea, sand, just the boy. I've got three words to say to you, son, Trinidad and Tobago. Two tickets to the tropical island of Tobago. One of them has your name written all over it, literally. Hang on a minute, I thought you were skint. Uh, let me worry about that. How long long's it for? Three weeks, five stars, leaving tomorrow. We've been with the first team squad. Oh, don't be such a lemon. It's about time you started enjoying yourself. I did when I was your age. Anyway, it's not as if you're even contracted to the club. Do it while you can. So are you in? Yeah, all right. Good lad. So I'll get that. You go upstairs, start packing. We're leaving first thing. See? I told you he'd go for it. Now, why don't you go upstairs, help him with the suitcases? He's a bit daft with things like that. Amy. Come here. Hello, Jeff. Is the boy on? Um, no, he's, he's out. Is there anything I can do to help? Looks like he's made the team for tomorrow. Uh, not before time. Is that his registration form? Yep, we need to fill it in. So yeah, that... I know, yeah. Signed by us both and with the FAASAP. I know the score, Andy. So why don't you come with us? Well, I haven't been invited. And anyway, I'll be taking my agent exams, won't I? So does that mean that we're going to be working together? Yeah. Cool. Nice one, Jeff. Just give me a shout if there's any problems. You leave it with me, Andy. Good All right? Man. I'll sign it ASAP. Uh, nothing. This is an FA registration form. Is he 
he meant to be playing tomorrow? There's no way that he's playing. That game is live on Sky TV and every agent in the country would be watching. Jeff, you can't do this to him. You have to tell him. You have to give him the choice. Over my dead body do I sign that form, Nicky. I can't believe I'm hearing this. This is his future you're talking about. No, this is my future. That right, Jeff? Now, don't jump to conclusions, son. I would never have denied you this opportunity. Oh, it all makes sense now. now. Come on, it's not like that. I think we'd better get this signed. Hello? Stuart. Hi. What can I do for you? I need your help. I think we both know just how lucky Viv is to have been given another chance. Please don't think this is funny. I'm very serious. If things don't go well for him here, I can't see another club taking a risk on him. I'm sorry it wasn't that. I understand. No. I don't know exactly what went on last night, but from what I've been told, it wasn't entirely accidental. What are you trying to say? We need to know that you're with Viv, not against him. I'm sorry, but my relationship with Vivian is none of your business. It is when my players start getting injured as a result of it. Well, maybe you shouldn't have signed him then. But I'm just trying to help him. And if you want him to have a career in this game, you'll do the same. It's quite possible that you're the only one that he'll listen to. He needs your help. Your support. And the sooner the better. I bet you never thought you'd see the day, did you? Listen, are you sure you like you put that number in right? Lee, I have done this a million times before. Go on then, press send. <laughs> nah, you're all right. Oh, go on. Congratulations, you are now a registered Premiership player. Vivian, I wanted to say about last night. Maybe I was partly. To Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. I said, maybe I was partly to blame for last night. Right. Well, aren't you going to say anything? A man can only be given so many chances, Vivian. You're lucky he's not pressing charges. Has he been it? Who? Naismith. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Because you're starting to sound an awful lot like him. It's common sense, Vivian. Anyone can see that. I'm trying to help. What, by acting like a little tart? Fine. From now on, you can sort out your own messes. And you can forget about me running this dive. Are you getting excited yet? There's no point. Probably only got two minutes if we get on at all. You'll get on, son. And you make monkeys of them all. I'll get it. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You've got enough. I didn't plan it this way, Jeff. It was still okay, it's available. And what if that gorilla dropped something on Lee's foot, eh? What's gonna happen then? Believe me, that's not gonna happen. I've spoken to his wife. She's gonna keep him under control. Oh, yeah. Just give me five minutes with him. Right, I'll get straight to the point, Lee. I want you to start tomorrow. It's going to be a massive step up for you, but I think you can handle it. What do you know about Melville and Knight? I've seen him play a few times. Mm -hmm. Both big, both tough. They'll probably put Melville on Clyde so you'll get Knight. And don't be surprised if he gives you a little whack early on. And if he does, then whatever you do, don't let him know that he's hurt you. Nobody's expecting you to set the world alight, so you've got nothing to worry about. And I don't want you trying any of that fancy stuff. Just keep it simple all the way. Now, hang on a sec. Who asked you? I'll take it you're up for this, then. 
40s. Nikki. <laughs> Good. You can see how nervous she is. So. Why don't you stay tonight? Please. got to be nervous about. Who's nervous? Come here, you silly thing. I'm just sorry I'm not going to be there to see you. Well, you've got to pass those exams if you're going to be my agent. Do you still want me to be? Well, yeah, but just not with Jeff. I just hope we can do the business tomorrow. You are going to be brilliant. I know you are. So stop worrying, OK? <laughs> Sorry, gorgeous. I really am. I know. It's just watching other geezers chatting to you totally gets me. Four of it alone makes my stomach sick. I mean, you know how it feels. So you were trying to warm me up? Probably. It was stupid. But maybe it'll end up being a good thing. It's nothing compared to what you've put me through, Viv. Sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. Look. It's not going to happen again, Charles. It can't happen again. I mean it. You've used all your lives. I oh, know. From now on, everything's going to be just fine. God, Nikki. Look like you've been dragged for age backwards. Look, I haven't slept all right. And now I'm completely late, so don't even bother. Sorry. Where's the stuff on domestic regulations? I don't know. Well, it was here last night. Look, it's under your breakfast. Oh, look, it's completely ruined. I haven't even read it. I haven't even looked at it. Oh. Calm down. Relax. Oh, God. What if I fail? You are not going to fail, I promise. Morning, sir. Nikki, you're right to give me a lift. Yeah, but only if we go now. I've got to stop by at mine. Lee. One moment, son. I just want to say that uh, no matter what you think of me right now, I'm, I'm really very proud of you. Is that it? And I think you're going to be the best player out on that park by a mile. Save it for some other mug. Silence. Something I'm getting pretty used to when I walk into a room. But I don't blame you. I deserve it. I'm really sorry, mate. I was completely out of order. Whatever. No, I mean it. All right, man. And if it's all right with the rest of you, then I'd really like to be a proper part of this team. 
But we'd better start by stuffing Fulham. Or I'll have to give you a lot of good kicking. More Premiership action today at the Dragon's Lair. It's Harchester United against Chris Coleman's high-flying Fulham. But all the news being made by the debut today in the absence of the injured Curtis Alexander for an unknown 17-year-old Lee Presley. A major shock that he's handed his debut today, but a day that this young man will never forget. <laughs> Not your usual cocky self today, Presley. A little bit nervous, are we, mate? War of those little feet of yours might not quite be up to the big stage. Right, Lee. I really appreciate what you did back there, Viv. I know it wasn't easy. Yeah, well, I meant it. It means a lot to the lads. Thank you. I'm the one who should be doing the thanking. You took a chance on me, and now I'm going to prove you right. Millions worldwide. I thought this one had guts. Look at him, he's as white as a sheep. Why don't you nip back in the changing room and have a quick puke, mate? There's still time. <laughs> yeah, well, at least the gaffer doesn't talk to my missus about keeping me under control. You what? You it. Another very important Premiership fixture for Harchester against Fulham at the Dragon's Lair. All eyes on this young man and man marking duties for Zach Knight on 17-year-old Lee Presley. Confirmation of his shock debut in place of the injured Curtis Alexander. While Viv Wright looks to continue his heroic form in goal this afternoon. God, keep a good man down, eh? Turn over your papers and start writing now. Fulham straight onto the attack here, and Lewis Boamorte finding some useful space. Harchester a stretch. Boamorte side netting only, but a chance. Strong words already from Viv Wright, clearly fired up for Peter Mack. Ball now for Presley. He was confident enough to have a try, but it was well over the top from Lee Presley. Take him on! Go past him! Oh, come on, son, you can do the flight pole way! Come on! Well, it's very untidy stuff at the moment. Danny Sullivan tussling for possession. Oh, but Presley has run right into him. Presley has found life in the Premiership difficult in this opening half. It's nil-nil at the break. Presley Schmesley. I'm not training ground wonder. The kid's got nothing. Is that right? Yeah, excuse me. Viv! Viv! Viv, where are you going? Stuart, a word. Not now. Now! My boy is finding a death out there, and I'm not going to sit by and let that happen. This is his premiership debut, Jeff. Of course he's finding it tough. It's not my fault. Oh, is that so? Anyone could see he was scared out of his wits last night, and all you did was make it worse. Now, hang on a no! minute. Now you've got what you wanted, I'm going to make sure he does himself proud. That kid is more naturally gifted than any of them out there. He's on a different planet. What's the point in having him in a side if all you're going to tell him is keep it simple, play it square, don't try anything different? He's got more tricks and turns coming out of him than Cry from Best could ever dream of. And if you're the manager, I know you are, Stuart. You'll go in there and tell him that. It's all lies, wasn't it? Everything you said. I don't understand. And I thought you were being straight with me. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you speak to Naismith behind my back? Did you speak to Naismith behind my back? Yeah. 
are you finding out, Ellie? Barely even touched the ball. You're doing well, mate. Look, I want you to play a bit differently the second half. When you stop worrying about making mistakes and just play the way you would in any other game. Wait a minute, you told me to keep it simple. Forget that. I want to see it all. The full range of tricks. Between you and me, I think you've got more natural talent than anyone else in that pitch. And I'd be saying the same if Davenport was out there. So go out there, do what you do best, and express yourself. It'll all fall into place. Okay. Andy, any sign of Jaws? Jesus, what's he playing at? All right, get just in warmed up. We can't wait any longer. Damn. Beth, I need to make a sub. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Dramatic news of the sending off of goalkeeper Viv Wright for a tunnel altercation with Stuart Naismith. Goalkeeper Justin Lee is on, Naismith himself goes off. Harchester down to ten men and Fulham threatening here. It's Louis Saha getting beyond Justin Lee and scoring brilliantly. But Harchester's form here going from bad to worse. He was trying to help Viv, and up until about ten minutes ago, he'd done a pretty good job. We talked, that's all. People are allowed to do that. I didn't tell you because I knew you'd react like this. Why did you do it, Viv? What was going on in your head? I don't know. Harchester are two down and all sorts of inquests going on on the bench. Andy Anser and Stuart Naismith. But they really should have done better with this. Justin Lee out, unable to hold on. Under real pressure from Lewis Boamorte who scores. Just look at the work rate here of Lee Presley. Terrific spirit from the youngster. Presley's in there. Oh, he was unlucky. Bobby Thompson. And now Presley. He's getting closer. Presley, great composure and a fine finish. What a moment for the 17-year-old. Wonderfully taken. I'll take it all back. It's a goal, mate. And this young man is about to make everyone in the Premiership sit up and take notice. Can you put your pens down now, please? It's back-to-back -back home defeats for struggling Harchester. The only heartening note for player manager Stuart Naismith. A goal and a promising second-half performance from debutant Lee Presley. What about my boy, eh? <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> What a goal, son. What a goal. Wait till you see it on telly. Let's go for a drink. We'll picnic you up on the way. Oh, come on, Lee. You're not still sore at me, are you? As from today, I owe you nothing. That's the lad. That's the lad. Everyone's talking about you. I'm, I was hoping you'd be here. Can I am? Joel Brooks. Player power. Why not say me and you go out for a little celebratory and talk about your career? <laughs> Love to. You let me back in, Jeff. Come here, kid. Great bar on us, called the Spit. On Dream Team. Morning all. The sooner you get your agent's license, the sooner we can get that crook out of our lives. Abby, I love you. Marcel wants a transfer. 
Whoa, hey, whoa. What the hell were you doing? It's supposed to be a training exercise, not a fight. Carry on the way you are. You're going to end your career.